So today makes it approximately two weeks since I've been using the S7 as my daily driver. But there's one really annoying problem I've been having, being someone who's coming from a history of using Nexus devices. And believe it or not, it's not torturous. You see, with stock Android, the buttons are on screen, which means you touch them and you respond and do what they should do. But with the S7, there's actually a physical home button that you have to press in. This seems normal, but it's actually really annoying for me, since when you're pressing it in, you have to put pressure on the bottom of the phone alone which is pretty uncomfortable to do and it changes the balance of the way you're holding the device if you're accustomed to using something with on-screen buttons. And also for some reason, the back and multitasking buttons are reversed on the S7 as compared to stock Android. Now I know that this seems like sort of a shallow problem, but if you're coming from a device with on-screen buttons, you'll know the struggle that I'm talking about. But that's the good thing about Android. If you don't like something, just simply change it. So there's this application called All-in-One Gestures and it does pretty much what the name implies and some more. And the result is the possibility to have a setup like what I currently have. To go back, I swipe diagonally up from the left bottom corner. To go home, I simply swipe up from the home button and I do the opposite of the back gesture for multitasking. I'm a left hander and this setup fits me pretty perfectly but I left the physical back button enabled just in case I'm using the device in my right hand for easy access to the back functionality without having to stretch too much to swipe up from the left bottom corner of my right thumb. There are three main sections in this application, hard keys, swipe and status bar. We start with hard keys, here you can customize what you'd like a single tap or double tap to do for each physical button, or turn them off entirely by selecting single tap and choosing no action. Although I'm using gestures, I left the home button activated so I can use the double tap feature for the camera, which is extremely convenient on the S7. The swipe section is where my entire setup here is configured. So there are all these areas here that you can experiment with and see which suits you best, but I'm just using the bottom, lower left and lower right. By just looking at this application, it's pretty self-explanatory to use. Just click which area you'd like to customize and select an action. Once you're done, head to personalization and make sure the toast message toggle is turned off and the animation toggle is turned on, and this will give you a seamless experience. If the edges are a different color for you to be able to see it while customizing, head into edge preference and drag the opacity all the way down to 0%. And that's it, now you can have your own custom navigation set up to your liking. And one of the best parts about this is people get totally confused when trying to use your phone and let's be honest, it's fun to see people lose their minds simply trying to navigate through a device. Also, full review of the S7 is coming soon, but spoiler, I'm really loving it so far. Especially that camera. Feel free to jump over to my Instagram and drop a follow and check out some of the awesome shots taken with this device over there. I'm extremely active on Instagram lately and it's mainly because of the S7. It really blows me away to know that images of this caliber were taken with a smartphone. That's just crazy. So that's been it, everything will be linked below including my Instagram, make sure you go check this out. Thank you guys so much for watching.